Okay, I think it's recording now. So hello, um, internet viewer, uh, viewers, terror readers, uh, people who just want to, you know, kind of mose on the internet. They see this video and they're like, oh yeah, we'll click it. Um, hello. Um, I'm going to go with another tarot reading today. I don't know why my voice is a little bit deeper. <coughs> I don't think I'm getting sick. I forgot I have my green tea here. I should probably get my water. But, um, yeah, I just decided to do another tarot reading. Um, and then just kind of get the ball rolling there and, you know, just kind of do them. Don't really have much to do at this moment and never heard to do some sort of tarot reading. And I have a candle going. I have my green tea, my Arizona green tea. I think I have my water in the other room. I'll go get it. I should have gotten it beforehand, but that's what I do. You can find something to drink as long as it's not detrimental to your health. Alrighty, and then we'll get started with it. It is right here. Underneath. I'm thinking about uh, a lot of things at this moment here. A lot of stuff to do. I also have the bunnies running loose, so if you hear a bunny running around, that's what the crick and crack is for, plus also the windows are open in my sister's bedroom, which is over there, so you could hear her really well. Well, she's not here right now. She's at work, but you need to hear the cricks and cracks very well, because the window will be open and the curtains or whatever will be blowing. So yeah, um, I decided to... Lunology, just cause. I haven't really been getting much sleep lately, so if I seem a little tired or a little lethargic, that's the only reason why. It's cause I am quite tired, I haven't really been getting much sleep. So yeah, just think of an intention, take a pause, take a, take a moment, and then just kind of Breathe in and out and stuff like that. Eyeballs. I don't know why, I just haven't been getting much sleep lately. Especially last night, it was horrible. And sometimes I won't even be that stressed out, but sometimes like I'll have like not a lot to do on my mind, but just in general, and I won't be able to sleep, so. Last night was a very hard time sleeping. And I don't know why. I'll do a three card. Nah, I'll do five card. Whatever. With the frig. I don't, I don't say. It's coming to me a five card. Plus also two cards came out. Aw. Oh, I have to go down and get it. I'm gonna burn my hair in the candle. It'll be atrocious. Oh, dysfunctional as ever. Alrighty. So, let's get into it. So I hear, well, I see here the waxing crescent moon of have faith in your dreams. So, since you have a lot of doubts, maybe that's causing you a lot of anxiety or a lot of um, backfires or something. You have a lot of doubts, you have a lot of um, inquiries and stuff like that that you're trying to go forward and trying to sort through and everything like that. And like with this look at the bigger picture, I feel like people are telling you in the present moment to look at the bigger picture, to look forward to the bigger picture whatsoever. And... Jester?
the culprit. You love your Chester. He likes to chew the boxes in my dad's office area. He likes to chew all the boxes, like the empty boxes and stuff. He has like a, a box where he puts the air conditioning, so he likes to chew that box. Because he's a little fuck. He'll be more a tarot reader, helper than. Alrighty. So yeah, with the look at the bigger picture and everything like that, you're trying your options to see what you could do, what needs to be done and all that. Like you're trying to figure everything out. Like I, I feel like your mind's kind of like a, a, a healthy jigsaw. And I say healthy is because of the fact that you are getting your mind going, you know, you're not really, you're trying not to get overwhelmed by issues or problems at hand that need to be solved. Um, you're just trying to take your time and trying to work through things. A fiery climax approaches. Um, I feel this is not necessarily that things will be done or things will improve themselves in a quicker manner, but more or less that you are impatient and that you want things to be done. You know, you have two full moons, two fires, Sagittarius and Aries, fire, passion, impulsive, and you want things to be done. You're already done right now. Um, you could have a dominant Aries in your chart, or you could just be in that passion uh, movement at that moment. But I sense a lot. I'm sorry, he's just so cute. But um, I sense a lot of that in... I can hear him, he goes... And he's not mad, he's not angry, he just does that sometimes. And it's funny. <laughs> I can hear you breathing. He always brings a smile to my face. But yeah. So that's going on. And then communication is key. I sense you're not really talking to a lot of people. I sense you're not talking to the right people, if anything. I sense you're keeping um, things hidden from people and not talking things through. Or people think that they know what you're thinking, but they're not. Or it could be that they know that you are thinking this way and you're denying it, or you're not really coming to truth with it. Or you could have communication skills in general, like maybe you have problems communicating, you have problems talking, maybe you have, um, what's the word? Maybe you're socially inept, maybe you also have like a fear of talking in front of people, or just in general, like you don't really like to talk about your emotions in general. And everything like that. So that could be... Stop. He's such a funny bun. You're such a funny bun. Funny bun, 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 bun. Toilet job. But yeah. So there's that going on. Um, and then it's also too... We have here right after that. So that's what you're not seeing... It's okay, don't worry. I'm just trying to pick the cat. Uh, Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. I don't know if you can hear him. That's his breathing right there. But yeah, um, it's a time to release negativity. I sense like a lot of negative emotions or maybe you have the tendency to look things on the negative side of things and not really look into it um, in a positive mindset or it's just trying to tell you, because we, we have here the beginning of have faith in your dreams and it's time to release negativity, so maybe you just need to look on the bigger picture, a more positive outlook through the situation. And also, too, I, I don't mean to say enjoy the process, but in figuring things out, <laughs> in figuring things out, we tend to learn things about ourselves and we tend to kind of figure out um, more about ourselves through the process. So maybe that's something to um, kind of take when you feel like you're going through this disaster moment. 
of things not being done right away. You know? It's all about the journey um, and things that you learn in the journey. I won't say to make the goal worthwhile, but the journey is what really is the meat and potatoes of the goal in life or any goals that you set for yourself. But yeah. So that's what I have to say for that. Who's in here? Who keeps sniffle whiffling? Who keeps sniffle whiffling? They're just going to, people are just going to watch me like kiss the shit out of you. Kiss the shit out of you. I'll put you down when I want to. But yeah. So there's that going on and everything like that. And it's just a matter of like trying to look at the positives and everything like that that you just have to do. And also to remember that like I feel like maybe you don't want things to go in a bad route and stuff like that. But sometimes things don't go as planned or sometimes there is negativity that comes out of situations and stuff like that. But it's kind of like you have to deal with the negativity. You have to, you can't let it consume you, but you do have to find a coping mechanism to deal with all that negativity. Like release it in some way. Find a different hobby that makes you forget about it. Or try to better your own... I'm right here, buddy. Try to better your own self. And trying to um, release it, you know? You gotta find a healthy outlet for yourself. Right, Chester? Find an healthy outlet for yourself. I think I'm gonna put you down. As long as you don't chew the boxes, machines, or any wires. Look at me. The pyramids. Okay. Take it, my sister. Bye bye. Your little sniffles. And then his little tootsies. It's no chewing shit. No chewing shit. Runs right into them. Runs away. But uh, yeah, so try not to think about that. Um, I'm going to pick out, um, look at this, a new start is coming. So maybe you're just trying to focus on a new start, new beginnings and stuff like that. Uh, oh, what's on the top here? Bring love into the situation, you know? Positivity, love. And also too, you know, be kind, yes. Be nice, yes. Be loving, yes, but also to remember that, you know, you'll probably surround yourself with some negative situations and just kind of maneuver on what's with your energy or what's worth your energy versus trying to give your energy to all, you know? Like, it's, you can't really, you know, give your energy the whole way all the time and you have to be careful of who you're nice to. Because it could really bite you in the ass when I have like rabbit fur in my nose now. But I could really bite you in the ass when things or when people betray you. So just be cautious of that. And also too, I get something with Halloween. So something will happen Halloween season. Scorpio is technically Halloween season. Um, for anyone. Uh, it's also like kind of... Uh, like it's almost towards the festival Samhain, so that also has to deal with death and rebirth and everything like that. Um, for any of you, uh, which which um, which followers out there? He came right back. He's staring at me. But yeah, so that's all. Uh, you know, Samhain's coming up and everything like that, and that's what I keep thinking about is Halloween. I keep picturing a bonfire. Maybe you'll be invited to a bonfire or something will happen with fire. I could just imagine somebody sitting around and stuff like that and then they're in this some sort of fire. And like I feel like you look into that fire and feel somewhat transformed or you feel like some part of, some part of yourself will be dying. And that's like a, a really good and a very good representation 
of death and rebirth of Samhain in general. Um, so yes, I don't really go too much on religion and everything like that because I like to, this is more spirituality than religion, what I really like to talk about and everything like that. Um, I'm not really, I don't identify as Catholic. I don't really believe in God. I don't really, I'm not Jewish. I'm not, um, like I'm not religious whatsoever. I'm spiritual. Um, I don't really believe in a heaven or a hell, but, um, I do believe in, you know, spirituality and, you know, all that and cycles and energy and everything. And, and that also too affects our mood and stuff like that. And, uh, I do believe in like kind of like the forces of the universe and destiny and sometimes destiny has plans and has things set out for us that we're not really supposed to know or that it comes to a surprise to us so maybe some sort of surprise will be happening or will be you know to you I also get to coldness so maybe you'll be somewhere cold for a little bit could be at that bonfire or whatnot um so I do sense that as well too. I just figured I dropped that because that's what I, I'm feeling the sense of and everything like that. I sense bonfire, I sense death, transformation, rebirth, reform. Maybe it's some sort of ending of a cycle for you. Um, it could be an ending of a partnership if it's business related or um, ending of a um, new era in your life, some sort of cycle towards Halloween I sense towards Samhain, as many people of uh, Wicca, they call that. I used to dive into a lot of Wicca and their beliefs and everything like that and everything like that. And I do take some um, and believe some, but I don't really worship and, um, a deity of any kind or anything like that. I don't really believe in that. But, um, yeah. But I do believe that there is going to be some sort of transformation that's going to be happening some sort. Chester, be nice to your sister. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm watching them from afar because he's chasing her. And she, Anastasia's tinier than he is. And sometimes he can be kind of, you know, a little, he could play rough, but sometimes he could be rough and she can't take it. Hi, love. I'm talking about you, Titter. I'm talking about you too, Anastasia. They're good bunnies, though. But yeah, so um, I do sense that as well going on with you and going forward with you as well. But I do want to get some more cards and stuff like that to clarify it. So I want to actually, instead of clarifying the situation and everything like that, I definitely want to figure out more of what's going to happen with this fire and this bonfire and everything like that. I don't know why, but this type of energy or this type of feeling that I get, I do want to kind of focus more upon. Um, I don't know, I just send some sort of bonfire. Maybe you'll be at a bonfire party. Maybe some sort of bonfire will happen. Or maybe you'll be around um, a fireplace or something. I don't know. Take what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate at all, then it could not be for you, the reading. Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass. And that's not Chester, that's Anastasia. She's chewing the damn wood. Anastasia! Now, girly. She heard me. She's chewing the, the wood. Do I have to keep pausing the damn video? Yeah, I'm disease. Anastasia. Don't make me get over there again. She's chewing on, there's a desk um, over there. And she's trying to chew it, the corner of the desk. So yeah, I want to get more about this bonfire and stuff like that. And the situation here, I imagine you sitting around with a group of people Maybe having a few beers, maybe not. Um, I do sense kind of like this. I don't know, maybe um, if you are. I just get the sense like 
it may not be for everybody if you are single or if you're not seeing anyone at this chance or or anything of that sort um i sense a sense of pride uh, maybe your love life yo tska what's the fasta it's with thought but um i sense that um if it has been hard for you relationship wise or anything like that i'm not saying that you will find a new partner but i'm sensing that you will have a new take on your newfound freedom or your freedom in general maybe you have been depressed or maybe you have been very upset by being single by being on your own maybe you've been through a bad breakup going through a bad breakup and you're trying to gain a little bit part of yourself back i know how that feels sometimes a heartbreak can be very immense and it's hard to gain yourself or at least try to find some remnants of yourself or find some purpose or anything of the sort to complete you again after that breakup so i do get that um so that i feel like that is a big liberation for you is having a new um ideal on that i also get this new sense of new relationships having a new aspect on relationships so maybe if you haven't been doing well in your relationships department not romantic but just people in general uh, maybe some sort of thing will happen where something will be discussed and it'll be kind of easier but i sense the sense of pride um with your faith in relationships around people again and just kind of you know trying to mentally be back into there into a mentally happy state where you can deal with relationships and deal with people because like uh, that's the way i say it because sometimes we get so wrapped up in our head our own head that we don't really want to deal with people so yeah or we can't deal with people because we're so wrapped up but i also said like i said too make sure you are cautious of those who aren't kind to you um be cautious of those who are passive aggressive or want something out of you or are mean to you or in general um blame you you know like maybe they're your best buddy one day or they show that they really care for you the one day and then they kind of screw you over the next you know just be cautious be wary of those people and stuff like that you know um because people come and go but you know friends could last a lifetime relationships could last a lifetime and depending on what relationship and everything like that that you engage yourself into make sure it is that of a good one a solid one and one where mutual respect is given on both sides and it's not just on one side because that's where it becomes imbalanced so balance out your relationships that's something that i really do recommend i recommend keeping a journal i recommend talking it through to someone maybe you have a therapist maybe you don't have a therapist but i do recommend talking to them and trying to figure that out and trying to um not disassociate yourself but try to figure out the root of any issue that you have in your relationships firsthand outside perspective and then try to gain that or carry that experience to what it could help you with you know it never hurts to ask help and it never hurts to think about ways to improve your relationships but like i said just be wary just be cautious because i do sense to um there could be a lot of drama that you've been going through recently or maybe a lot of drama coming forth that you're trying to get out of i feel like someone will start drama and they'll be nice to you but you kind of feel i don't know i just sense like like again take what resonates but i do sense that someone will be having some sort of split in some sort of relationship and what i mean by that is that a relationship that they currently have it will grow more distant and you yourself will be more comfortable with that you know you'll be more comfortable with the idea of kind of being more casual and not as close-knit you know because maybe you guys have a lot of differences maybe you guys have a lot of um you don't see eye to eye and everything like that but um a sense of uh, comfortability of yeah you know i feel comfortable by this you know I feel okay with the it's moving on now. You know, cuz maybe you have an, a a very hard time with moving on. Uh maybe you have issues where you feel like you retrace your steps and you miss something 
and you try to when you go back to it and you reflect back on it you feel extremely guilty so you try to make up for it but um you know i always try to have the philosophy of whatever you said or decided or acted upon in that moment make sure it is your 100 percent option best for you you know and what i mean by that is that make sure you make the decisions that you know you won't regret in uh, that time in that period and of course we do regret our decisions and of course we do regret our actions or anything of the sort but that's also being human you know that's also learning from the experience and kind of gaining knowledge from it um and also to we grow from those experiences and stuff like that so you know take whatever resonates you know i could just be talking to myself and stuff like that um instead of my bunnies but uh yeah but um so hopefully that helps but um let's get into the cards here i'm going to take one more card here i have seven two eight and one seven two eight and one i don't know why but maybe you're trying to get somebody's number or maybe you will gain somebody's number and i don't mean in the romantic sense but i mean more of less in like communicating with someone that you haven't communicated with in a long time um that could be another thing that could be happening to you we have seven uh virgo and two taurus so earth energy we have water energy in the middle and then two fire on the end so we don't really have a lot of air so that's what i i do say or what i saw beforehand where the lacking of communication the lacking of logic at times and everything like that um that could be what is missing from your um current situation occurring round current roundabout there so we have seven virgo i sense you're just trying to maybe you're trying to be more helpful to people and stuff like that make their life stable um make sure that they're okay but the thing is is that like what i really do want to advise into that um is that you have to make sure that you're you're okay yourself, you know? Yes, it is your job in how you act around people, how you treat people. But it is your job and solely your job to be able to take care of yourself and to know your limits and to know what you are okay with and what you're not okay with and carry on from there. That's something that I agree with wholeheartedly and I sense that maybe you are so focused and wrapped up in how other people think and feel and how to appease other people that you're not really thinking of yourself you know I know this sounds very selfish but be selfish you know literally it's in the name but be fucking selfish you know you have to think of yourself and you have to think of how you feel and taking care of yourself and you have to think of what you can do to better yourself at the end of the day you know what can you do to make sure that you're okay tomorrow make sure that you're okay the next day and um yeah you have to make sure that you're okay because it's you at the end of the day who has to deal with yourself 100 percent, full 100 percent. it is you at the end of the day who has to deal with yourself and you are going to be the one i saw this interesting quote um while i was on Facebook, um, where they said that uh, you have to be comfortable with yourself because you are going to be the only one who's going to be with yourself for the rest of your life. And that's true. You know, people come and go and stuff like that, but you are going to be the only person in general at all that is going to have to deal with themselves 100 fucking percent. You know, you are going to be with yourself forever to the end of time. You know, you have to find things that you can build upon, that you can work upon. That can make you feel like a better person. Hey! What are you doing? Motherfuckers. But, um... Why is it, like, I can spend, like, a whole three hours and they, they don't do a damn thing. But obviously they do a damn thing now. Of course it's the two culprits, Anastasia and Chester. They love to get into stuff. Anastasia! Fuck.
chewing on wood. You are chewing on wood. And guess what? Now you have to finish out this terror reading with me there. Anastasia. The other conflict. Now there's Bailey. So yeah, um, that's something that you really need to kind of be wary of and be cautious of is that you have to take care of yourself at the end of the day and you need time for yourself at the end of the day. You know, people will demand a lot of time for you, demand your attention and demand this and demand out of that you, but you don't have to answer to them. You really do not, you know? You don't have to. You know, you should worry about yourself first and foremost at the end of the day. Bailey! Oh, you fucks. Stay away from the blinds, girly. Please. I do not want to have to pick up blind pieces later. Um, eight Scorpio. Like I said, it's very interesting that Scorpio is coming up a lot in this reading here. Because Scorpio is for transformation. It also has a lot of emotions and a lot of underlining feelings and stuff like that. That one must kind of look into and really think about, you know. Scorpio is the sign of rebirth and death and everything like that. We have one Aries. Um, like I said, maybe you are trying to be impulsive in something and wanting that answer. So that's something that you have to be aware of, you know? You have to be aware of your impulsivity. And, you know, kind of wanting things too quick. Right, Gertie? But yeah, so just be aware of that. And then we have, interesting enough, ends on Sagittarius 9. You know, just be forward and straightforward with what you want out of life and your goals and everything like that. And everything will be okay. Do you want anything to tell them? She's just doing the little sniffles, so she's okay. I don't know why, but like, I'm like, so, whoa. Like I said, I'm tired. My voice is deep. And I've had to take you guys all around this path that way. Fuck it. <sighs> fuckhead. That's what I call him. Chester. Chester's fuckhead. When he's being bold. Bailey's Bailey bitch. She can be a bitch. And this one is my asshole. My little asshole. She can be an asshole, but she's so cute. Sometimes I call her Puss Puss now because when she lays down, she looks like a cat, kind of like a big fluffy angry cat or like a sleepy cat in some sort of angles when she has her ears back. So I call her Puss Puss. She kind of reminds me of a kitty. And she loves to cuddle with people. She's like, what? Do you want to say hello Puss Puss? Don't worry, it's just like movement. Say hello, Puss Puss. Say hello, Puss Puss. She has like that mouth of a cat. So you kinda... Hello, Puss Puss. But yeah, you know, do whatever makes you feel comfortable at the end of the day and take care of yourself, you know? And it's Halloween, so get into that spooky season. I love Halloween. It's probably my favorite holiday. I love everything about Halloween. The weather. I also live in um, the Northeast, so fall is a great time of year. I love watching scary movies and Halloween really movies. And now Music Channel has, a, for Comcast, it has like a Halloween station. Sounds of the season, so they're playing Halloween music. Which you don't really hear a lot about, but you hear enough about Christmas, though. Mm. Opening my playlist for season sounds and stuff. So that we don't fall off. But, um, yeah, enjoy Halloween, enjoy the season and stuff like that. You know, I don't really, I don't mind costume parties and stuff like that. I'm not a big dresser upper for costume parties. Um, I'm not really a big sweet tooth person. Not as much as I used to be. <coughs> So I'm not really a big fan of candy or Halloween treats and stuff like that, but I do love me a good pumpkin pie. 
No, don't jump towards the fire. Promise me, puss puss. Promise me, puss puss. But yeah, so hopefully that helps, you know. Hopefully anything helps. You want to get down, puss puss? Oh dear, sorry. It's okay, puss puss. She probably hears dear loving fuckhead uh, chew the wall over there. That's okay. But yeah, so I hope this resonates. Um, watch a Halloween movie if you want to really get into the mood, obviously. Black nail polish. I'm wearing my citrine ring. That's the one right here, by the way, if you don't know what that is. Getting into the spooky season. Got to put on the spooky fall light candles and music. So yeah, enjoy and have a good whatever time you watch this. Say goodbye, push, push. My name is Anastasia. Come on, before we go, say goodbye, push, push. Say goodbye, push, push.